are going to be reading you the book Seafaring Friends. Here we go. Seafaring Friends by Jackie and Maria. This is the cover of our book. Here's the first painting I did. These are my mm -hmm. legs and here's the kayak. Mm -hmm. I'm getting into the kayak. I was in the kayak. My husband, Brian, was swimming in the water beside me. And ahead of us, we saw what looked like a volcano in the water. All of the mist came off the water volcano and little droplets and settled on my face. <laughs> then the whale put his eye out of the water and looked at me and started to swim straight at me. Our eyes connected and we were locked into staring. His head came out of the water, and then his back, and then his tail. This is a way to illustrate rhythm, the rhythm of the whale. He was moving along in the water, and his fin came out of the water. He was scraping the bottom of the ocean he was eating. I made sure I stayed a hundred meters away. I watched him eat. The sun was setting. The whale and kayaker were at rest, well aware of each other, noticing each other while keeping their distance. Keep real steady. You don't have to keep your distance. <laughs> Hearing the foghorn and noticing the mist rolling in, I searched the water for my husband who was nowhere to be seen. I realized I was lost because I was surrounded by mist and I couldn't see anything except the white fog all around me. I thought to myself, I need to turn around and return to shore. The moment I was thinking this, the whale submerged. Yes, it's very exciting. Yes, it is. I turned my kayak around and followed the gray whale to shore. I'm on the shore and he's parallel to the shore following me with his eye. I could hear his breath and see the whooshing spray and a heart shape as he headed to the open ocean. Gray whales have two blowholes and when the water is still, the spray makes a heart in the air. Is that it? Okay. Thanks, Mommy. You're welcome. <laughs>